answer. Um, we've, we've got a lively chat who are really enjoying this and who really enjoyed your uh, debate with Hugh Ross a couple months ago and, and share my opinions with it. Um, here we've got Tony Torpa. A question came in. Hi, Jason. Has anything been heard from Hugh Ross when you challenged him to read your article, Distant Starlight and ASC, in your last debate? Awesome. Thank you for that. Uh, no, I haven't heard from Hugh Ross. I, I hope that he did look at that article because uh, he was under the mistaken impression that uh, light to measure the one-way speed of light. It cannot. And I had already answered that because there was a critic named Peter who had uh, posted that same thing. And I demonstrated that assumption uh, in, in, in his question that the speed of light's the same in all directions. Otherwise, his question wouldn't make any sense. Uh, the fact is you get exactly the same answer for uh, when you see the light from a supernova that's been gravitationally bent. You get exactly the same answer whether the light in one direction is in whether it's C or whether it's any other value that's allowed. And, and the reason for that is only light that's, light can only be instantaneous in one uh, direction relative to a, a given observer. And so the right. light from the supernova would have to go at an angle. And so it'd be a it wouldn't be quite instantaneous when it first goes, well, it gets bent around the galaxy and then zips directly toward the observer. And so I answered that and uh, Hugh hasn't got back. If he thinks if he thinks I'm wrong, he's welcome to challenge me, and I'd be happy to post his uh, his reply and my reply to his reply, and so on. <laughs> awesome, yeah, great response. I mean, 